Welcome to the Pro Kitchen version 5.6 Lasso and Move video tutorial. We're going to take a look at the new Lasso and Move feature here and see just how easy it really is to use this new feature. So to get going, we're going to zoom out a little bit on our design. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a lasso around this. And to do that, we just simply hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse to build a nice little box. And notice everything inside the box is either highlighted red or highlighted blue. That means it's all been grouped together for us. So from here, now that we're highlighted, I can simply move my mouse onto the design, hold down my left mouse button, and move my mouse. Sometimes you get a little stragglers that stay behind, but they catch up as soon as you let go. So now I'm going to build my lasso around it again. And now this time, I'm going to right click, and it's going to bring up our menu. Come down to selection, because that's what we've done. We've selected all these items with our, our little lasso there. So I'm coming down to selection, and here we can move, rotate, drag, delete, create group, save to solution, or delete from group. And we don't want to delete this one from the group because, well, we don't have a group to, to delete it from. So we're just going to leave that one alone for the moment. We're going to start up here with move. I click on move, and I'm going to click where I want it to move to, and it's going to drop it out there in the plan, and then you can continue to move with it. I'm going to move it back over here, center up. There we go. I'm going to lasso it again. Right click, selection, rotate. And now as we move our mouse, we rotate. So you set it whatever angle you want. And yes, we can use our angle over here. So we want it 450 degrees, for instance, and hit place. There we go. Roll it back around so it's easier to work with. I'm going to lasso it again. Right click, selection. I'm going to go to drag. And here, this is just going to be a drag for us. And it'll drag the direction that you first start moving your mouse after you click drag. So. I'm going to come back in here, delete, we don't want to do that one, it'll delete everything that we've got highlighted, create a group, we can click on this and it'll create a group and what that will do is it will allow us to go to other functions, because see if I click out of it that function's off, it'll allow us to go to other functions while this is still grouped. Um, save to solution, uh, if you remember, uh, used to be you'd have to create your group then go back into your group, right click on it, and in the menu choose Save to Solution. Well, now we can just go straight to Save to Solution. Um, we can type this as our SKU. I'm just going to call this Test Kitchen. And we can put in a description. Um, oops. 5.6 tutorial. We can put a note down here if we want to, and click OK. And now this guy is over here in our solutions, categories. There we go, Test Kitchen 5.6 for tutorial. And you can see how it's turned purple because I've grouped it. Oh, because I saved it as a solution, it automatically groups it. If we want to undo that, right click on it here, and we can go test kitchen, remember that's what we named it, and ungroup, and now we're back to normal. Going to do a zoom to fit here real quick, and I'm going to add a couple of cabinets for us. I'm just going to drop two of them out here. I'm going to take a look at one more feature for this. Zoom out just a little bit. Now I'm going to do my lasso. And I'm just going to do these two cabinets. And so I can come in here and I can move those two cabinets. 
versus everything else in the design. Now those two cabinets that can re lasso them. You notice everything else isn't lassoing up. But if I go over here, everything that's red is going to be attached. So if I go over here and move, all of this stuff out here is going to move with it. So be aware of that when you're working with this. So I'm going to go in here, and here we've got under our selection, we've got all of our features, move, rotate, drag, delete, create group, save to solution. We're going to delete them because they're extras. So that little lasso and move feature should come in very, very handy as you're designing your kitchens. I mean, imagine moving an island around. Create it, lasso it, move it into place. Perfect. So this has been Pro Kitchen 5.6 video tutorial for lasso and move feature.